What's going on, everybody? Obscure Reference back with another trailer reaction. It's me, Pat. It's also Austin. Wave hi, Austin. Yeah. Hey, there he is. So, yeah. <laughs> we got rumors. We got rumblings of a new Marvel game being announced today. And guess what? It got announced. And so they dropped a trailer, and we're going to watch that and then kind of discuss our thoughts about it. Marvel Rivals. Have you heard anything about this yet, Austin? Well, <laughs> my response to you when you put it into the chat was, is this a game, a movie, or a cartoon? So clearly, I knew nothing. <laughs> yeah, I've heard a little bit about it, but I'm going to wait until after we watch the trailer. I have not seen the trailer myself, but I do maybe know the roster. So anyway, let's just Ooh. jump right into it. Let's just jump right into it. Let's do it. That is really quiet. It is very quiet. Okay, there you go. NetEase still exists? What? Yeah. To win this one. Okay, okay. I don't know if I knew a single one of those. I know those ones. Get ready. Go. Well, that one's Groot. I know Groot. Oh. Okay, I like the art style. I do too. Yeah, you know. It really me. does look like fucking Overwatch. Though. It does. <laughs> They really hit the so nail much. on the head with that one. Yeah, the map really looks like this. Like it could be from Overwatch. Oh, it's Yuri. Groot as a tank is awesome. Love that. Good call. It's a good call. Uh, awesome man looked like Hanzo, so that's weird. Oh, it's disruptable? Oh fuck yeah! That's that's I'm an interesting magic. twist. I'm okay. Magic. It's happening. Oh yeah. hell yeah! Okay, team ups. That's kind of fire. Cool. Oh, that's what it is. Luna Snow. I don't even know what that is. Oh. Is that female Galactus? What was that? That's his uh, daughter. Don't think about it too hard. <laughs> oh, and May. Closed Alpha. Wow. I've got... Uh... There was things that were really cool about that, and then some other things that I'm have to wait and see on mm -hmm. like i really think that uh, the team up thing is going to be hard to implement um in what is a 6v6 you know competitive shooter yeah making that balanced is seems like that's going to be a very tall task not that that's not already an issue i mean obviously we see that with overwatch that it's pretty hard to keep these um roles balanced in a way that you know is functional on a competitive level and i think that just adds another layer to it but i do think that that destructible world is a fun twist on the 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 shooter idea yeah how well that will work i don't know uh yeah i would have see. to really think about it i mean i guess it's going to depend on the objectives right because mm -hmm. i like i think if i think and i'm not going to get the um names of the game modes right but in Overwatch, when you have to move the payload down the down the road, mm -hmm. right? If you can just destroy all of the walls, what is the defense going to be able to do to stop you from continuing to move forward? Because yeah. they're going to have no cover. I bet you it won't be everything's destructible. It'll be select things are destructible. You know? I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, maybe I mean, that'd be interesting in so much as, like, how would you delineate that on... Because, like, that map that we looked at, right? Mm-hmm um everything looked the same like it didn't look like there was a delineation between like this is destructible and you can clearly tell that is true, because yeah. it is designed differently and this is not mm -hmm. uh so i'm not that that necessarily has to be in the game um for that to work it would just make it you know m harder for the casual player to be like oh i can just like these are the things i can destroy and this is how i can tactically use that mm -hmm. uh might be a little more complicated there 
Yeah, I agree. I think my general thoughts on this, though, as a whole, because we get, this was like leaked yesterday. Some people are talking about a 6v6 Marvel shooter. And I'm like, that could be cool. And then I saw who was working on it. I'm like, Netties? Oh. Ooh, they do mobile games. Um, <laughs> which, no shame against that, but like, that's not my thing. But right. Then, Very different type of game. Yes, extremely. And watching this trailer, we see some of the, you know, the art styles looks awesome. I actually really dig it. And then we actually see it like in motion. We see like actual gameplay, which I didn't expect from a trailer, an announcement trailer of all things. Um, and it actually looks fairly solid. Yeah, I'll be very curious to see what the balancing will look like, especially like you said with the dual abil- with the team up abilities. Um, but I think it'll be. F- I'll be curious to see what kind of combinations they come up with because obviously, Rocket and Groot that's an obvious combination. But like, and we but... also saw one with uh, Namor and Luna Snow, which makes sense because he's a water boy and she's an ice girl. Um, but I've, I'll be curious to see what other what other things they come up with, just because it's the Marvel nerd in me. Um, right at a minimum i'm excited to try the alpha i mean oh yeah at at a minimum it's like a shooter which i'm already in on Mm -hmm. and the marvel characters it's like i'm gonna give that a try yeah yep and i am a big overwatch fan you know i haven't played in a while just because it's kind of fallen off but in its heyday like that was all i played pretty much so r.i.p to the owl r.i.p um but uh, you mix that with Marvel characters, like I'm, I'm fucking sold. I'm at least trying it, giving it a solid mm-hmm. college effort. Um, but you know, <laughs> it was interesting. Look, it's Overwatch is the main game in this this mm-hmm. genre. But the fact that Doctor Strange did the, uh, what is his name, Genji the robot, his fucking mm-hmm. thing, and Namor was literally just Hanzo. Like, there's some stuff there that was a little bit little sus when i was looking at the roster and i saw penny parker was on here i'm like that's just diva if you think about it so i'm sure there'll be yeah. plenty of like comparisons we'll be able to make going through this which look i'm not gonna i'm not going to be like you know you can't have any similarities because obviously like mm-hmm. there's things that work in these types of games right a tank yeah. with a wall makes sense and is makes just something sense. that works mm-hmm. but the f- it's how similar in the way they look um that is something else entirely there right God. yep yeah i 100 agree with you on that i'll be curious to see how they're able to pull it off and it, they say they'll have a steady flow of characters coming out so I, there's always room for them to <laughs> infringe on something different. well i mean it's yeah <laughs> well and look marvel has plenty of characters i mean they've oh. got a huge it's why things like Marvel versus Capcom work because you can have just so many characters. You can make deep like in so many different things to play. Mm-hmm. Exactly, like you, it's the kind of thing where like you know one of the issues that Overwatch can have is like you have to invent a brand new character over mm-hmm. and over and over. Yeah. Whereas Marvel can just be like, oh, we haven't put X character in yet, Silver Surfer, whoever you know, whoever right. you want to call. Because let's like, just do that. Right. And right off the bat, just looking at this roster, like I know who Magic is. I'm aware of who luna snow is but like your average marvel person probably doesn't know who those people are and that's Mm -hmm. i think where this game could potentially thrive but that could also be its downfall i mean it is i got a little bit more details it is free to play so that makes me i mean i love that that's how you get the biggest player base right out the gate for sure but it makes me wonder in a day and age where we have games like overwatch that are kind of struggling right now like will this game be able to succeed where others haven't um, but I think you save those big guys like War Machine or Captain America, who I don't think is in the launch roster, and then you leave them, you drop them, and be like, "Oh, it's our big update. Here's Captain America." You know, I could. Totally yeah, see and that I don't. Thing. I would. Uh, I would say how much of that is, uh, um, you know, the genre's fault, and how much of that is Overwatch's fault, and so much as like League of Legends has existed for much longer and is in a very similar model, and so. Yes. How much of that is the gameplay? I mean, I don't think that... I don't know. Maybe League of Legends has... Because the roles are so drastically different, like jungle is nothing like top, which is nothing like, you know, support in the bottom lane. Mm -hmm. So, like, maybe there's such a wide variety that it works better, but I just don't know that I'm ready ready to say it's the um, 5v5, 6v6 shooter genre that's the issue there. I really think it's probably more on Overwatch. 
Yeah. I think the bigger thing for this game is going to be do these pieces that they're adding make it better or worse? Because mm. mm-hmm. I think that part of Overwatch's problem has been its balance, like I said. Yes. And this could make that even harder. And so if you just fall into an even worse trap than Overwatch, I mean, you're just kind of you're going to die quick. Mm-hmm. I'd like to point out, too, that there was a game that just got canc- just got shut down. That was Gundam, which you think would be a successful 5v5, 6v6 game, but that got shut down pretty recently, too. Um, but back to the balance, I think it'll be really interesting to watch because right out the gate, they're saying they'll have 18 playable characters at launch, and that's only going to get bigger. Just a lot. Yeah. So I'll be very curious to see how they're able to do that, if they're able to do it. Or it'll be, it'll, it'll be very clear, like, oh, you know, Groot's overpowered. No one can die if you have <laughs> right. Groot on your team. You know, or we didn't really see her in the show. I mean, they teased her, but, like, Scarlet Witch, what's she going to be? Like, Storm, Punisher. Like, there's all these characters we didn't necessarily see that are coming down the line. Um, so, and I know they have plenty yeah. of ideas in mind, too. Well, and there's also, now that I'm thinking about it, too, like, hopefully they learn from some of the mistakes of Overwatch. So, like, obviously Overwatch didn't drop with roll queue, right? And that mm-hmm. created a very, like, I mean, now we're talking way back. This has been a yes. while. But, uh, like, hopefully they can learn from some of that to where you don't get so many lobbies. They're like, there's five DPS and a tank, and you just, like, your team's just not going to win. Mm-hmm. Um, so hopefully they learn from some of that stuff, and they can kind of start in a better spot, learn from the people who have been around. Yeah. Yep, that's the big hope. I don't know. Do you want to go through the starting roster that they're teasing up? Yeah, hit Real me quick. Really. So obviously we got these folks on screen right now. I'm going to... Is that the complete list? I don't know. I'm going to go through it. All right, so yeah, you have obviously Black Panther, Doctor Strange, Groot, Hulk, Iron Man, Loki, Luna Snow, Magic, Magneto, Mantis. Magneto? Listen, if... I wasn't a magic Mantis brain. is in there? I didn't see either of those. Okay. They're probably going to le- leave them for like the full release. I, I'm guessing. Or for later release. But they're ready, I'm guessing. But they also have Namor, aka the Submariner, Penny Parker, Rocket Raccoon, Scarlet Witch, Spider-Man, Storm, Star-Lord, and the Punisher. So. I think that's a good mix of, you know, like deep cuts as mm-hmm. well as obviously well-known characters like Iron Man and Hulk. Yeah. I would agree, and I'm very curious to see how they're able to mix someone that's close quarters like Black Panther or um, the Hulk with someone like the Punisher, who is probably, I presume, going to be just a ranged DPS sort of situation. Yeah, I'm certainly interested to see what their roles look like. I mean, are they going to go with the traditional tank DPS support? Um, Mm -hmm. Or is it going to be more complex than that? Yeah, I don't know. I don't. We didn't obviously see anything in there to lean one way or the other. Yeah, not really. But I mean, you could argue, for example, someone like Hulk is a tank, but he could also be something along the lines of like Diva, right? So Diva outside of her mech is um, Bruce Banner, and then Diva yeah. in her mech is the Hulk, right? So like, not that the Hulk is ranged, but you get what I'm saying. Yeah, no, like you can get into some weird cross stuff there mm-hmm. so how they how hard they hard line they make those roles and what kind of roles um they decide to go with will be interesting to see mm-hmm. yep it's a 6v6 shooter it's marvel heroes i'm in i'm gonna be trying it at least it sounds like austin's in for too. sure uh oh, so yeah. yeah it's early alpha or drops in may we'll definitely check it out then so be sure to stay tuned subscribe leave a like Who are you most excited to play? Leave it down in the comments. And uh, be sure to stay tuned with what we're doing here. We stream Mondays and Thursdays for now, but that could change very soon. Um, And we also do bonus streams on the side, so be sure to stay up to date with all of that on our socials, which you can find links for in the description below, and just on our general subscription feed. Thank you for watching. We've enjoyed reacting to this trailer with you, and we hope to see you again. Goodbye, friend.